Let me do like a one that's like never played or like uh Fuck it. Uh okay, where's the where's the the main gaze? Where's it? Is this the Wait, are these two the same? Which one's the gay pride? Both of these look the exact same. Wait, are, are these are these two of the same? All F tier. <laughs> these look like the same flags. Am I crazy? This one too. This these all look like the same. Are they are they are they, just, are they trying to be drift, different and quirky? Okay, I'm assuming this is the like normal gay pride. Uh, I'll put it S tier because it's just like the standard. Yeah, I'm sorry about your eyes hurting. There's too much color here. Yeah, the the normal gays they're they're alright. It's just standard, you know, just be gay, the gay pride. That's alright. Oh wait, I need to. I should Google this because I don't know these flags. Is there like a glossary of pride flags? Okay, here we go. I think I got it. Um, okay, there's like a triangle in a field of black and white. I don't see it. Is it is this like a new flag or like where is it? Is it Why is this on here? What the fuck? Okay, let me go to the uh this pie one, the one with the pie symbol. Here we go. Polyamory. Many is a practice of desire for mental issues with more than one partner. Oh no, fuck that. Nope. That's actual left here. I'm a mono. What was it? I, I'm a mono guy. Just one on one. I can only do my relationships one on one. You try to do if you try to engage in the in the polyamory with multiple people, you're just gonna end up breaking more hearts. Not truly like being with all the people, like all everyone you're trying to be with. It's just not possible. F tier. All right. Uh, this one. Intersex. What's intersex? Intersex are people or individuals born with any of the with any of the several sexual characteristics, including chromosome patterns, gonads, genitals. That, according to the Office of the Commission of Human Rights, is not for the typical binary notion of male or female bodies. Oh wait, is this when you're is this when you're born with both? You're born with both a dick and a vagina. Okay, that makes more sense. Uh, that one, that one's kind of freaky, but I'll give that at least, at least an eight here, because if you're born with both the penis and vagina, at least you can go fuck yourself. What's next? Uh, tri okay, it's like a triangle flag thing. Son of a bitch, where is it? Oh, here it is. Oh, it's a variation of it? D. 
Daniel Quasar. <laughs> that's a pretty cool last name, a Quasar. I think it's like a a Quasar is like some spinning star in outer, in outer space that releases like like uh, radiation on both axes. That's a that's a cool last name, Quasar. These the redesigned incorporating elements of both the Philadelphia flag and transport flag and focus on inclusion. To, there's progress, pride flag, search fans, da da Oh, so it's just a cheap knockoff of the original flag. Okay, well then F tier. I don't want, I don't want fucking duplicates. Be fucking original, please. Alright, uh... This black and white striped one, what is that? Son of a bit. Is this is this all the flags or is this like partly some of them? Okay, here's okay, there's this one. A gender. A gender. A gender people are called genderless, gender free, non gendered, ungendered, identified having no gender or gender identity. Bitch, you're not different. Stop trying to be all quirky and different. I'm just kidding. Um, borders and identities do not conform to traditional gender norms. Uh, that's kind of boring. It's like you're trying to be just nothing, but you've got to establish something for yourself. So not as bad as F tier, but you're you're down there in D tier, man. You gotta you gotta pick something. Was this a better one? Oh my god, thank you! Finally! Okay, fuck this other tier list. Pattern, you suck. Ascending tier list. Thank you. Great, I like these. Okay, not much to complain about. Bad, not likely. What the fuck even is this? KYS. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Straight. Yeah, that's great. I'm sure, being straight. Why not? Dollar likes all sexuality flags. Goddamn right I do. Okay, transgender... Tr Wait, what? Transsexual transgender. Oh, that's just a different name for it. Mmm... Bad. Because it's way too confusing, man. I've been way too confused sometimes when I'm seeing a picture. I was tricked one time from seeing this one picture of a woman and I, I thought it was a woman that a, that a, someone on Discord sh uh, showed me turns out it was actually a dude like I don't need the confusion man but it's not too bad gay men I don't think I have a problem with gay men they're kind of alright usually well groomed stay healthy you know how to decorate? Yeah, I got no, I got no problem with gay men. They're all right. A romantic. A romantic. A romanticism is a romantic orientation characterized by experiencing little to no romantic attraction. <laughs> That's just called being fucking lonely, dude. What? Is defined as having little or no romantic feelings towards others. Oh, towards other people. Okay, I thought, I thought it meant you receive no romantic attraction because like, that's just called like you're just uh, ugly or something. <laughs> but like, hey, amen, brother. I'm with you there. All right. Us ugly people gotta stick together. Wait, where is it? Oh, here it is. Um. Hey, romantic, that's just... At that point, maybe you're just not finding the right person. There's always that thing, too. You can have a sea of just, like... You can always find people that you don't like. You can just see people you always find unattractive, like... For, like, a, a bunch of reasons, right? It takes effort and time to find someone that you like and the reasons to like them. So either you're not finding people you like or you're too lazy to actually try. So what the fuck even is this? A gender. Oh yeah, we just talked about this. What the fuck? 
I won't say you're trying to be different, quirky, but like, okay, you don't conform, then what are your things? You eventually gotta have some building blocks, some foundations to work with, man. Intersex, yep, yeah, still pretty good, because again, you can go fuck yourself if you're intersex. It's pretty cool. Transgender, it's not the same thing. Way too confusing, man. Seen way too many confusing pictures. I gotta know what's going on. Straight ally. It's a straight ally. What do you... 50 colors? <laughs> it's just a bunch of colors. Are you kidding? Okay, you know what? I'll do this one, sure. Why not, you fucking idiot? <laughs> okay, was it straight ally? A straight ally is a heterosexual and cisgender person who supports equal civil rights, gender equality, and LGBTQ social movements. Individuals may meet this designation through their actions without actively identifying as an ally. I don't think I've ever supported. I don't think I've ever supported gay or like LGBT movements. Like I got other shit to do. Fuck purple, cause French support purple. Oh yeah, fuck the French. Yeah, definitely. But I'm definitely not against it. Like I don't support it. Like I give them money or anything, or like go on marches. You know, I got a job. I got bills to pay. I have I have people I need to entertain. Yeah, so I can't support you, but... Hey, yeah, more power to you, man. Nothing to complain about. Demigender. The fuck is demigender? Demigender people identify partially or mostly with one gender, and at the same time with another gender. Huh? There are several subcategories of, of identity... A demi-boy or demi-man, for example, identifies at least partially with being a boy or man, no matter the sex or gender, and partly with other genders, and with no other gender. A demi-flux person feels that the stable part of their identity is non-binary. <sighs> figure out your shit, man. What? What? Non-binary. Like, I've been confused about a lot of things. Not like sexuality wise. I, don't, I want to specify that. I've never, been, I've never been confused by my sexuality. Like, I've been confused about, you know, career paths, what I want to do in life, what I want to have for dinner, or those things. That's just, you're just beyond confused, man. Hopefully, you figure your shit out. Non binary is an umbrella term for gender identities that are not solely male or female. Non-binary identities that fall under transgender umbrella since non-binary people identify with the gender as different from their sex, though some non-binary people do not consider themselves transgender. Okay, this is this is more of an umbrella term, so I can be more okay with that. Yeah, it's when you get it's it's when you get way too specific, like these guys, the the demigender, that you've lost me, you lost me completely. Bisexual. Uh, I I know what this is because I I kept being called, um, by what was his name? Was it Fax? Yeah, like yeah, Fax, an old viewer. In my in one of my old old places, I had a blanket co covering the window to not let in the heat because it was summer. It was a red blanket, but the light made it seem lighter. So to him, it seemed like a bisexual flag. He was like, "Oh, Dalda, you're a are you bisexual? Are you a?" Support of the bisexual uh, people. It's like no, it's just a blanket. The light is making it lighter, so it looks like that. Um, bisexual though. Uh, I don't think to complain about. He's whatever. The other wants a bisexual wife, so his wife can bring over her girlfriend. I mean. I mean, that, that, that'd still be kind of weird because, again, I'm more one-on-one. -on -one. If my wife has a girlfriend, that's just kind of, that'd be within the realm of the cuckolding position. I think so. 
Wait, is is cuckolding only when your wife is with another man, or if your wife is with even just another person in general, even a woman, it's still considered cuckold? Does anyone have the science? Does anyone have the numbers on that? Is that still considered cuckold? Because I, I would still consider it to be like that. So if my wife brought over a girlfriend, I would be kind of concerned. Dream sexual. Like the YouTuber? Wait, is that an actual thing? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to not show this in case something weird shows up. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, this is a different thing. Dream sexuality, also known as Sognar sexuality or Somnio sexuality or Yumes sexuality, describes feelings of sexual attraction to other people when asleep. Wait, however, when a dream sexual is awake, they feel little to no sexual attraction to other people. Wait, so you... You like people when they're asleep, aka when they're unconscious. So you want to have sex with people when they're unconscious. Isn't there another word for that? <laughs> There's like another word for that type of thing, right? Like, hey baby, you fine as hell, but I'm only going to clap those cheeks if you're unconscious. You feel me? You know? You smell me? Okay, yeah, but this isn't the dream sexual that we're talking about. We're talking about the YouTuber. Oh, God, r slash teenagers subreddit. Can someone please explain to me what the fuck dream sexual is supposed to be? Th this is on r slash teenagers, by the way, chat. I want to specify that part. I'm going to delete my browser history, too. Don't, don't get it, like, all weird. I'm going to delete my browser history after doing this, okay? Having a sexual attraction to dream, I think. It's weird and I hope everyone who is dream sexual is joking. <laughs> a mental illness. <laughs> it can cause death of fathers. They have never had fathers, so you're wrong. <laughs> okay. Thankfully, these, some of these people are actually correct in the head. Okay, good. But yeah, it's clearly, yeah, people who are way too attached to the YouTuber dream. Yeah, degeneracy is another good word for it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you know, you know. Abrosexual. What's an abrosexual? That's a new one. Is one or more changes in sexuality or sexual identity sometimes in a sexual orientation? Is that stable and unchanging for majority of people, but some research indicates that some people may experience change in sexual orientation is slightly more likely for women than men. Wait, is this what it is? Or where's the term? Is this another term for it, or...? Sexual fluidity may overlap with the label abrosexual, which has been used to refer to regular changes in one's sexuality. Also, sometimes you like dudes, sometimes you like women, sometimes you like both, sometimes you like neither. Uh... I mean, if you're, if you're just tasting around the buffet table... Okay, but eventually you just you gotta stick with one thing. Like, I can kind of understand all these things if you're young and, like, questioning things and you're, like, discovering yourself, sure. But once you grow the fuck up, you gotta, you gotta settle on one thing. Like, you, you can't sample the buffet table forever. Eventually, you gotta have your plate, sit down, and eat. Uh, so this one... Eh, I have nothing to complain about. Why did you call me? I didn't call you, motherfucker. You're including yourself in... Hope you're having a great day, Kahuna. Uh, lesbian. I literally cannot have anything be wrong with this since this is so beyond my universe. On Discord? I didn't call you on Discord. What are you talking about?
Oh, I did. What? What'd I call you? Oh, I was on my... Oh, I called you because when I got your message about being unbanned, I was on my phone. Like, Stone Bed just woke up. It's all a Discord. So I meant to type, yeah, sure, you're unbanned, and I guess, like, I fat-fingered the, the call button. Sorry about that. I didn't even know I did that. But yeah, you're, you're unbanned from the Discord now. Yeah, Kahuna, by the way, chat is unbanned on the Discord. He promised to stop, to stop spamming gay shit in the Discord. He said he's grown up and all that, so let's see if it's actually true. Yeah, lesbians, I, 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 I literally can have a problem with this since it's literally women on women stuff. The lesbian universe is so devoid of man, I can't really like, I, I literally cannot get in there, so. Yeah, not, not much to complain about. I didn't want his dick. I fat fingered the call button. LGBT homosexuals. Oh yeah, I don't have, I don't have a problem with the homos. They're well, more specifically, gay men. They're 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 all right. This one's a more like umbrella term. Yeah, I, I, I no problem. Can you imagine a gay Nazi? Yeah, like right now, I'm I'm imagining one, like in my brain. It's a very confusing image, but yeah, I can imagine one. By gender? The fuck is that? A gay black Nazi Jew. <laughs> That is actually an impossibility to imagine. I can't even ima imagine that. How would a gay Nazi hold their hands while saluting? Well, they can because they'll be all limp-wristed. You can't, you can't salute with the, with the limp wrist. By gender, people who have, people have two gender identities and behaviors. Identifying as by gender is typically understood. To mean that one identifies as both male and female or moves between masculine gender expression and female gender expression, having two distinct gender identities simultaneously, or fluctuating between them. <sighs> I don't know about this one. Like, you can't have it, you can't have it both, at some points. You know, like, if some, like, if, uh, if some people, you, uh, what's the Hannah Montana song? The best of both worlds? Yeah, no. You can't have it, man, okay? Some of us are stuck to the one thing, okay? Some of us can't have it both ways or the best of both worlds. So no, okay. You not you you can't. If I can't, then you can't. Okay. Polysexual. Polysexuality has been defined as encompassing or characterized by many different kinds of sexuality, as a sexual attraction to many but not all genders. Also, if you're attracted to, um, to many genders or things, but not all of them. Those who use this term may be doing such as a replacement for the term bisexual, believing bisexual refers to dichotomies. Major monotheistic religions generally prohibit polysexual activity, but many religious in religions incorporate this into their practice. Polysexuality is also considered to be many, to be another word for bisexuality, however, on Unlike bisexuals, polysexuals aren't necessarily attracted to people of the same gender. Okay, so you're just attracted to multiple things. So you can be attracted to transgenders or attracted to straights or attracted to uh, aromantics. Eh, for whatever. It's just more, more if people want to sample the entire thing. I don't know why I'm sticking to the, uh, to the buffet analogy, but this is the best I, I got right now. Omnisexual. The fuck? Omnisexuality may be used to describe those attracted to people of all genders across the gender spectrum. Oh, so you just like all of them. And pansexuality may be used to describe the, the same people or those attracted to people regardless of gender. 
Well, so that's the same thing. You just like everyone. If you're omnisexual, you just like you like all of these things, all like all of it. Uh, in that regard, that's kind of. I don't know what you just type, Kuna. Type English. This is an English-only chat. Um. And in that regard, I kind of I kind of respect that. You have well, actually, if you have no standards or like just like all, like you just like all of it. In some regard, I can kind of have respect for you just like like liking all of it. So, you know what? I'll give you I'll give you that. Why not? Asexual is that the same as aromantic? Asexual the band? The Asexuals are a hardcore punk band from Beacon from Beaconsfield that was a mainstay of the Montreal punk scene in the 1980s. The fuck? It's a Canadian band, the Asexuals. Nice. Uh this one. The lack of sexual attraction to others. Isn't it the same as aromantic? That's the same shit. Or low or absent interest in or desire for sexual activity. It may be considered a sexual orientation or the lack thereof. It may also be categorized. O'Reilly also include the broad spectrum of asexual sub-identities. That's just aromantic, motherfucker. They don't like anyone. Maybe you're just ugly. Asexual are people who don't, who don't have sexy, sexy wexy. Okay, that's just a gender with a different, or that's aromantic with a different label. At that point, you just wanted to be different and have a different thing. These are the same things. Gray sexual, I saw that earlier. Or is that the same thing? Gray sexual. I've said the word sex way too many times. The fuck? The fuck is gray rape? I've said the word sex way too many times this stream. Gray sexuality or gray is a spectrum between asexuality and allosexuality? What? Is the ability to experience sexual attraction and the lack of identification with asexuality. What? Someone who experiences allosexuality is allosexual, sometimes referred to allo. The ability to experience sexual attraction and the lack of identification with asexuality. I, I'm, I'm just beyond confused right now. Gray A, gray ace, or gray smith referred to as the ace umbrella of the spectrum in terms of demisexuals. I don't, I, I don't, what the fuck even are you? Yeah, I, I tried. You saw, you saw me read the Wikipedia article. I, I cannot understand it. In, in the attempt to understand gray sexual, I encountered another unknown. At that point, I, I'm gone. Sorry. Intergender. Uh, where are you? Fuck, it's... Okay, it gives me nothing. Just, it redirects to non-binary. I literally have no idea what you are. So, yeah, sorry. What even is this? Gender fluid. Isn't gender fluid technically sperm? Is a non-fixed gender identity that shifts over time or depending on the situation. This fluctuation is going to occur on the level of gender identity or expression. Gender fluid person may fluctuate among different expressions. Lifetime express multiple aspects of various gender markers. non very transgender or identify as, ace, as an assigned gender. So, okay, so you just move in between whatever. Again, you can't have it both ways, motherfucker. 
You can't just keep sampling from, from the fucking buffet table. So, yeah, not likely. Adrogene? Adrogene? Adrogene. Oh, androgyny. Is the possession of both masculine and female characteristics. Androgyny may be expressed with regard to bisexuality. Female you know, refers to intersex who are born with congenital variations, minus center of the birth. Hermaphrod oh, hermaphrodites, yeah. Oh, so he just like you'll look you look like you're both you're both man and dude or man and woman. You got the both masculine and feminine characteristics. If it's from birth, then I can understand that. If you're trying to look like that, you're 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 trying to be different. So it all depends. I'll just put in nothing to complain about. Polyamory? No. I'm a mono. We're doing it mono, okay? Like the thing that kills children? Mono. One on one. Gender flux? What? Fucking can't spell for shit. Fucking it. it. It didn't. It didn't give me anything. What are you? Try gender. I know. Try gun. I don't know. What try gender. People shift among male, female, and third gender. What? Gender queer. Oh, it's also called non binary. Fucking. What's with these synonyms? What was it called? Why is there so many synonyms? I'll just put it next to it since it's essentially the same thing. Pansexual. I'm not gonna make the pan joke. I said that joke once. And I was called out for it by Dudette about it being like a overused, dumb sexual joke. So I'm not going to say it again. Because it, the term of pansexuals came up and said, why are you fucking pa pots and pans? It's like, I'm not going to do it again. Okay, I'm above that. I'm a professional. Sexual, romantic, or emotional attraction towards people of all genders or regardless of their sexual gender identity. Gender blind, asserting that gender and sex are not determining factors in the romantic or sexual attraction to others. Okay, so you just like whomever or whatever. Uh, fuck it. That's kind of like omnisexual, but. Mm. Nah, omni's already there, so I'll just put you in nothing to complain about. Kuhn has a major in this? Oh yeah, he has a PhD in this field. Pangender. Pangender, people have multiple gender identities. Some identify as all genders simultaneously. You cannot do that, bitch. Pick a side. Fuck you, pick a side. No. Anything without a penis is good. That's normally where I first draw the... That's my foundation for attraction. Don't have a penis, and then we can build from there. All right, there we go. That's the uh, sexual identity, sexual genders uh, tier list. It's the objective tier list. You cannot disagree with this. This is pretty much how it goes. That's, that's just it.